Hi friends, good evening. Uh, welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So this is Manju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So here in this video, I am going to share you that what exactly the source target mapping document, what source target mapping document contains. So I am going to show you that and also I share you ETL project concept. So what exactly the ETL project contains extract transform and load project so that is called as etl project contents here so these contents are very important for the knowledge uh, to get in real time uh, etl testing jobs so kindly go through the video completely and uh, you will be getting a uh, valuable information in this video so before starting the video uh, if you are not subscribed to sql master kindly subscribe to sql master youtube channel so you'll be getting a uh, valuable information here that's what I am going to share you here in this video. So here, uh, this is what the source target mapping document contains. So what exactly the source target mapping document? We all hear about the source target mapping document. Okay, a source target mapping document in ETL testing is a document that defines the mapping between source data and the target data in an ETL extract transform and load process. It specifies how the data is transformed uh, as it moves from source to target and helps to ensure that the data is transformed correctly and accurately. The source mapping document typically includes information such as source system name and location target system name and location source and target data structures that is what we call as uh, table structures here in both uh, in a source uh, table structure and in a target table structure field mappings between source and target so we can mention some field mappings here okay like uh, uh, some some column containing the keys okay so those are called as field mappings and data transformation rules fifth point is and then business rules and validation criteria what exactly the business want what the client want exactly that uh, business logics you can say or business rules you can say and validations criteria so what validation what type of validation uh, the client want actually in the form of result so what validation we have to do so those business rules and validations it contains data cleansing and data quality rules data cleansing means uh, we have to remove unwanted data repeating data in data cleansing and data quality we have to maintain so quality must be there so unlike that is uh, capital letters and small letters comma full stop or you can say some uh, we have to maintain the data quality in data so that's what the seventh point is uh, uh, consuming here so error handling and error resolution procedures okay and the source mapping document is an essential part of etl testing because it helps to ensure that the data is transformed accurately and consistently so because in etl testing platform this very important thing is uh, the data from source to target has to be transformed exactly accurately and consistently so they should not be giving any errors here so again that will be cause failure in data transformation so because that only we are dealing with the data in etl testing so the data must be transformed from source to target in accurate manner so this is what very important point here it also helps to identify potential issues or errors in the etl process before they impact the quality of data in the target system so so these uh, what content is about source target mapping document hope i think uh, you understood this properly so moving to next slide here so etl testing project so what exactly the etl testing project by me so suppose you are working in a retail company that sells products through multiple channels like including online in store and phone orders the company has recently launched a new data warehouse to store and analyze sales data from all the channels. As a part of this project, you are responsible for performing ETL testing to ensure that the data is extracted from source systems. 
transform as required and loaded accurately into the data warehouse. So this is what main concept in ETL project. Your ETL testing project might include following steps. Requirements gathering. Okay, first thing is we have to collect the requirements. Meet with stakeholders or customers and subject matter experts to understand the requirements for the data warehouse and ETL process. Second point is source system analysis. Analyze the existing source systems such as online store, in-store point of sale systems and phone order systems to understand the data they generate and how it is stored. Data profiling. So what do you mean by data profiling is here? Profiling the source data to identify any data quality issues such as missing values, duplicate data or inconsistent data. So this is also a very important point part of ETL testing to maintain the data quality here. Mapping document creation. So again in first slide only we have discussed here this point. Create a source target mapping document that defines the mapping between source data and target data in the data warehouse. Data transformation testing. Test the transformation logic to ensure that the data is transformed accurately and consistently as it moves from the source to target. So this is what the fifth point is here. And then data quality testing. So because we have to test the data quality also here to test the data quality rules to ensure that the data is accurate, complete and consistent with the business rules. Data reconciliation testing. Test the reconciliation, data reconciliation process to ensure that the data in the target system matches to source data. Error handling testing. Test the error handling process to ensure that errors are captured, logged and resolved in a timely manner. Performance testing. And this is very important question in ETL testing or SQL developer interview question. The interviewer may ask you what is performance testing. The test the ETL process for performance including data volume, processing time and the resource usages. And 11th one is user acceptance testing that is UAT testing. Obtain sign off from the business stakeholders to ensure that the ETL process meet their requirements and expectations. So finally when we deliver the product to clients or stakeholders they have to be sign off that the whatever we tested we designed and tested that application or software is perfectly working properly so this is what the uh, user acceptance testing again in uat uh, if stakeholders find any of the errors again they have rights to report to again to us so once again you have to go for the uh, process or procedure to make ensure that all the uh, features and all the modules are working perfectly in testing phase. So then again we have to finally deliver that uh, product to the stakeholders. By following these steps you can ensure that the ETL process is tested thoroughly and accurately and that data in the data warehouse is of high quality and meets the business requirements. So this is what the thing uh, uh, friends what I want to share with you in this uh, video. I think uh, you, you are understood the properly the concept uh, of ETL testing project and also the source target mapping document here. So this is what the thing here and uh, uh, I will be with you uh, with some more uh, SQL Oracle queries or ETL testing concepts in my uh, next video. So till that uh, bye bye have a nice day take care bye friends.